Hey, welcome back. This is Pride Go Channel. If you are interested in productivity, programming, or digital nomad, just click down below on the button and get subscribed so you can be up to date to everything we upload up here. Today, we are going to continue with our series with Pride Code Chat GPT and in the integration with WordPress. We're going to try to set up a thumbnail to the post that we created in the last video. So, we're going to convert this one in code right now. So, for I mean, the, to, add, to add an image to your post, um, that's what I want to say before, I mean, we are going to use what ChatGPT is offering to us, and I already have them have done my chores over here. So um, the first thing that we need to do is to go over the API and try to interact with them, as always. So here on the platform, the API reference, uh, we are having uh, this specific example um, as always and this is based on my test before making the, the video um, some some of the images are not or not quite accurate I mean well, the idea is to try to integrate the chat GPT with the with the WordPress so maybe the um, maybe if you if you follow the the github repo you're not gonna be like a super happy at, at this point with the thumbnails because some of the events are not great but i mean the idea is that we can just simply use one prompt to create everything in just one shot okay so we are gonna try to improve it over the the next video but for now let's gonna use this okay so for this we need to create an image or get an image you know and i have here this um this connection to post i already have added my api key remember that you have to create it i have already put it over here on the authorization bureau now i'm gonna just send hey just give me a pasta carbonara image so this is the prompt this is the data that it should be done i and how many how many images we are gonna send one and it only has like a three options for sizes so uh 1024 uh per 1024 and the other one is like uh, 512, and the other one is at 256. So this is the link that it that it take us, the create for us. Let's see. And that's it. There's an image for the Casa Carboladas. So the point over here is to get this image, insert it in WordPress, and then add it to the post. Okay. So let's gonna do it over there in our blog. I already have my. Sorry, I thought that I had it. Oh, okay, yeah, I have it here. So I have the point over here. So if I if I type something like a hey, can you write a blog about whatever and you think it create a published post, it should then create a post and also the email. So um, for that, that's then and so the first thing that we need to understand is how to get that image with open API. So, uh, so we are going to create then a function to interact with the the API, just pretty similar to what we had over here on the chat GPT connection. So we are going to simply try to copy this. That's going to say it's something like a function. Right, code chat GPT. <clears throat> um, get image. Or something like that. And we are gonna then set down a prompt here. There will be the same prompt. And we are gonna use the example from our client, which is this. And it should give us a URL. And I'm gonna say, uh, I'm gonna use our like always my prompt over here, the shell. And we are going to use shell over here to do. Okay. So I'm going to use this WP shell. Just a, ah, there you go. That's what I wanted. So we can have now the two screens. Okay. So if I use this image, this punch I mean, and it should get me that and an image URL. Let's see. 
image. So we're going to say, hey, um, image of the orange. Okay. There you go. So it should bring us the same as the URL that we did on post. It's going to shell again. Uh, let's see. Uh, image orange. Let's see. Just to be sure that it's working because I cannot believe this happened. Okay, so. Ding, 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 ding. There we go, that's the orange. That's great. Okay, cool. We did it. So we're gonna then just change this to the one twenty one thousand twenty-four to get a bigger image, which is easier. So the response form is going to be an URL. And for that we need to then take that image, okay, save it on locally, then upload it to the lock upload your directory to the system and then trying to attach that ID that is created to the new post that is created. So let's gonna do it. it will be private code chat GMT. Uh, save image, something like that. And we are going to then pass it the prompt that we are going to set up. We are I oh, know this, 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 I mean, we are going to use the, the same uh, URL. Okay. Yes. This is the image URL, image URL and the new post ID. Okay, cool. So you will see why we need that later. So first we need to include a, um, a file that comes on WordPress that has some of the image functions that we will need. So. In this case, it will be, um, I have a note here, will be copy this. So here on the include image, it has a bunch of, uh, of, a, of a functions that will help us just to, just to use it. Okay. So the first thing that we need to try to get is the type of the image. So we are going to set image type. And this 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 function get size get image size get image size from PHP is gonna give us information about the image that we are gonna get. So we need to set up the explode. Make sure, let me write this code and I'm gonna explain it for you. Get size get image size and the URL that we are not going to add. And the meme type. So we have now the image type. We are going to set up a unique name. And it will be something like either date. Uh, can be a month, date, year, whatever. And we are going to set micro time, well, whatever time. And I'm just going to just add an into here. Let's see if it goes. So the idea is to just make a unique image. I mean, a unique name that we are not, I mean, it's going to be tied to the time. So the idea is to not a, um, I make a duplication. And then the file name is going to be the unique name plus the meme type that one, the image type. There you go. Okay. So upload the year. This one. Uh, the uploaded file. Uploaded file is going to be uh but it will be a blob the year hat plus slash the file name that we created okay 
then we need to get the content of the URL. So we're gonna say, hey, this is the content and it will be file, get content. So from the URL, image URL, there you go. And we are gonna say, save it file. It will be if open that we are gonna open a file for it will be then the uploaded file that is the local the local path for the image plus the content as it is an stream we need to close it oh sorry sorry I am just opening the file over here and then I'm gonna write the file as write and it will be then the saved file plus the content. There you go. Okay. And then we need to close it to close the stream and it will be the save it. Um, yes, exactly how it is. Yes, all right. Okay, I was just comparing with my notes. So we open the file, just added the right permissions for. We take the saved file, the string that we created, add the content that we got from the URL, and then insert it and then close. Okay, so now we have the file. Then we need to create a file type on that on WordPress. So it will be file type. So it will be then WP check file. And it will be the base name of the file name. Then we need to create an attachment. So how the system works in WordPress. So let me explain a little bit. In WordPress, everything is a post. You know, that's the, that's the unit of the data. So an image is a post, a post is a post, a category. Well, category is a, another term, but you know, for example, when you install work, uh, WooCommerce, a product is a post, it's a, just a type product. So we need to set up and save that information in the post table uh, with an attachment connect. Okay. So for that, we need to just create an array of information. So that will be posts, meme type. So in this case, it's going to be post meme type. So it will be the WP file type that we created. It is check file type, and it will be the meet type. Then it's going to be a post title, similar to insert the post, and it will be the file name. Then it's going to be post content. Well, in this case, it's going to be empty for now and the post status that it will be inherit. Inherit means that it does belong to another pool. Okay. So, so it will be attachment ID equals And we are going to send the attachment file, the attachment array that we have, and the uploaded file. So it will be this. Okay, cool. We have the attachment ID. Now we have an email. New, there will be, we are going to get the pose itself of the attachment ID. So as I said, it's it's an post itself. It's a it's a row on the post tape, and we are gonna get the attached files. So full size path. It will be get attached file from the image new. The ID itself. So. What it does is that this function is attaching is attaching this uploaded file 
to this information that we pass it over here, the, the new ID that. So we created a new ID. We need to get the information. So now we have to attach the data. I know that this is a kind of complicated to understand, but there is a bunch of information in just one image. So that's why this is been so cool, you know? So we need to gener generate the WP. At so we need to say WP generate attach image. metadata and we are going to pass the attachment ID and then the full size pack okay now we have the attached data and we need to then here right now until here we have the whole image all right, already save it on the system, on the blow here, and on the post title attach, you know? So this could be the image is save it. And then we need to pass this attachment ID to the post that we are gonna pass. So in this case, it will, it's going to be the new post that we have created before in, as we did it in, in the last video. So uh, set thumbnail to new post. So for that, we need to punch on sunset thumbnail. Okay, so it will be this, the new post ID that we have created, and then the attachment ID. So these two new posts that they have been created, the, the post with the information and the post with the, the image information needs to be tied. So that's exactly what this function makes. And we can just simply read the Remember that all this information is in the in the um, repo. You can follow it on GitHub. So I give you over there up uh, the link for the GitHub uh, for the GitHub uh, profile that we have, and the repo itself is going to be on the screen. So we have now the ChatGPT set image, ChatGPT get the image. So what we need now? We need then after we pass the information over the AJAX. We then need to create the image after the post is created. So for that, we are going to say mm, it's going to be, let me see, going to be WP save. Okay, yes. So we are going to say, though, get the image. Uh, just, yes, it will be then. It will be then. Pride code, chat GPT, save the image, and we are gonna then pass the URL. In this case, it's going to be data zero URL. So it's going to be response data zero URL. And we also need to pass the new post ID. Okay, cool, great. And da, 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 what else? What else we need here? Let's pass this new post ID. We have it now. And let's let's, let's create it. Uh, I prefer to name it like a set new new image to new post. Nah, it's pretty long, but well, whatever. You understand the point. So need, we need to pass this information here because right here we have already created the post. We now know that it's not an error. Okay. And there you go. Okay, cool. And we need to pass the... It's going to rename this to new post ID because this function, if I remind well, it returns an ID, okay. So we have here the new post ID. Is it WP or new post ID? Yes, it is, okay, send an error. And then if not, just then send the prong. This can be, I mean, when, when we make some sample, you're going to see some errors that it has. 
but maybe we can prove it, as I said, in the other videos. Because right now we are going to send the same prompt to the two applications. I mean, to the to the chat GPT that is writing the blog and the chat GPT that is creating an email. So, I mean, I had an, an idea like, okay, well, we can try to make it better just to simply uh, having like a two, two prompts inputs, but I really want to make it so automatic that it works. And so I have some ideas that we can use it for our coming videos to make it to make it better. But for now, just let's try to understand how it works and that's it. Okay. So I am gonna add a frame over here. Frame. The same here. Trim. Let me let me just make an, an a reminder here. So remember that in the prompt that we were sending before, we had we were adding this this specific JSON format because that was the way as we could standardize the response that they, that ChatGPT was giving to us to try to iterate and create a post. So I am adding this specific thing over here and then just simply using the same prompt that I had that I'm going to receive it uh, to, to, to send it to ChatGPT, okay? And uh, we need to then send a new post ID. Okay, so if it worked, and let's gonna say, hey, I'm gonna try to reload this. And let's see, hey, hey, can you please write me a blog about, well, me, pasta, I mean, pizza, Hawaiian, Hawaiian pizza. I don't know, let's see if it worked. Let me, let me follow up this, the network. So it's here, trying to create a post. It's open, or it happens. See what it made. And if we have any error, okay, look at that. Is it printing all the info here? Let's see, the post was created successfully. Oh, finally, okay, it's open, yeah. <laughs> Look at that, Hawaiian delicious pizza. And there you go, we have the pizza Hawaiian and how it, mean, how it was created, the controversy, the beloved choice in conclusion, and we have a post that it was created automatically without doing anything. Well, wine is over and the code also. We were able to connect our images from ChatGPT to the post. In the upcoming video, I'm going to try to set up something better for the post because if you try it and, and this is a reminder, remember that we have this code already uploaded in GitHub. If you try it, maybe some images are not going to appear. If you try, for example, to use uh, images from, I don't know, Bill Gates or Donald Trump, it's not going to work because ChatGPT has some restrictions. Uh, but I'm pretty sure that we can up improve it. So stay connected to this. Uh, we're going to set up the next video on the next week. And I'll see you on the next one. Bye.